Hi, it's Ryan from Ride the Wave Counseling. I wanted to take a minute and speak to you about emails from teachers. So most parents of kids with ADHD or related challenges or are used to getting some type of email or phone call from parents about their child's behavior or assignments they're missing or you know what they're not doing in class. And one of the things that I always want parents to understand is that a lot of times, you know, phone calls or emails from teachers um, have to do with a teacher's frustration. And really, if your child is more of the impulsive, hyperactive type, you know, understand that it is hard to manage in class. It can be quite disruptive. So their their um, their frustration is justified a lot. And also keep in perspective that very few teachers and very few school administrators get any tr kind of training or education in how to support kids with ADHD in school. So this past week, uh, one of the kids who I work with, one of the middle schoolers, his parents got an email from the teacher saying, you know, I keep having, you know, I keep telling him to turn around or do this, you know, and he chooses not to do it. Um, and, you know, soon this is going to go from my hands, it's going to become a disciplinary issue. And, you know, the parents felt very judged by, by this, like they felt like the teacher was implying that they're not doing enough or they're not talking to him about his behavior. And I explained to them that you need to explain to the school and communicate well number one communicate what you're doing to try to help and in their case they're working with me you know we're work on we're working on developing better executive functioning and improving self-regulation um, and putting some sensory pieces in place to help him regulate himself better in the classroom all right but the other piece of that as well is you know I, I said to the parents that you know ADHD is a disorder of self-regulation right you can't regulate yourself well and talking to somebody you can't talk kids out of ADHD you know so for instance you know while this boy is being disruptive in class you know it's not something that you can talk him out of because you know it's difficulty regulating his behavior so certainly you can set classroom expectations but one of the things we have to help teachers understand sometimes is that this is not a choice and their behavior is not a choice. And that's something that I find a lot of time teachers um, in particular get stuck with. And in all fairness to them, I just want you to remember that teachers, school administrators, um, you know, people even in the mental health field get little to no training in ADHD or how to support kids with ADHD. So as parents, we have to really show the school that we want to work collaboratively with them and we are proactive in doing everything we can to address things that is if you are being proactive rather than reactive um, which I spoke about in a video last week but most importantly we sometimes need to help teachers understand in a way that this is not a choice that you know they're making that this is something that they struggle with and that we're all trying to work on collaboratively okay so I hope this was helpful feel free to leave any questions or comments below and feel free to reach out to to me. Also, if you are in the New Jersey area, um, please come to my ADHD parent crash course on Saturday, January 26, 2019 in Margate. It's going to be a great afternoon of learning how you can help your child improve their executive functioning, their social thinking skills, and just have a really practical understanding of ADHD. So I hope you'll join me for that, and I'll also include a link to that below. Thanks, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.